Hey guys, welcome to another one of my reviews. And today's review, sorry to get that adjusted. Today's review is for Victoria's Secret Victoria perfume. It's like there, let's see. I need to get this. Yeah, Victoria's Secret Victoria perfume. Um, I have literally so much love for this scent. I feel like this is a little too far back. Okay, is this my first time doing this or something like that? No one saw that. Okay, yeah, so this is like one of my favorite scents ever. And the notes for this are red berries for the top note. Middle notes are, middle note is rose, because I guess we only have one top note, one middle note, and creme brulee and caramel for the base notes. And that's just so funny because I don't really agree with any of that <laughs> from my perception. I don't really, I'm like, huh? Like this is from Fragrantanica. I don't know if it's true. That's what they say, but like, if you were going into it thinking that, I mean, I would be, I don't know. Look how clear it is, you guys. I'm, I'm not trying to like be weird, but it's just so like, it's such a blessing because we had such a long time of, um, you know, of like dreary weather. Why is the brightness doing this? Um, we had such a like dreary time for the longest time of like weather and now it's like, a lot better. So I'm so excited to spray this. So in my mind, it's so funny because like everything is always like woodsy notes and like, I think it's, is it Bath and Body Works or is it Victoria's Secret? One of them always just puts woodsy notes as a scent description, like as a, as a scent note. And I'm like, woodsy notes? Like, I don't know. That's like saying citrus. It's just kind of like, which citrus? Like, I don't know. So here we go. We're gonna spray this. I haven't sprayed this in forever. I love this scent. I got this in like a, literally at least 13 years ago, probably. I got this in like a little five pack that had like, um, oh my gosh, I can already smell it. It smells so good. I'm gonna tell you what I think of this scent. Um, oh, maybe there is rose. I kind of get rose now. Okay. Um, this reminds me, the scents I smell, it's funny because the scent smells so different from this one. I wouldn't have thought this until just right now, otherwise I would have had the name ready. But there's one of the, uh, I think it's Petal Buzz. I think it's Petal Buzz. Go through my reviews. It's one of my first ones I did. And it's kind of like this grapefruity rose type smell. Or maybe that one's like grapefruit and peony. I don't know. All I know is this one kind of reminds me of grapefruit and rose, but they're completely different. Like different rose, different kind of citrus grapefruit smell. And then tons of like woodsy notes. That's kind of what I get from this. This smells so pretty. And the thing is, I actually got rid of a full size perfume because they started selling, like this was, like I loved this little tiny thing and then two years later or so, like I got the full size perfume of Victoria. And let's just say it smelled nothing like this. Like nothing, like I don't know if they just completely gutted all the good ingredients and like put bad ingredients in it, but this one had the greatest ingredients and that's what I'm reviewing right now. So I'm reviewing it when it had like the original amazing ingredients in it and it's so good normally i don't really like peppery smells but this is almost like peppery woodsy very mature very sophisticated very adult this is not some teenage girl scent this is a woman scent <laughs> or a gay guy scent <laughs> or whatever um this is like so pretty it just smells like some sort of like pheromone type smell um it just smells so good. There's the right amount of like grapefruity citrus in it, which I don't care if they don't list that. That's what I smell. Um, and I get a little bit of rose now. Um, this whole red berries though, I don't really smell any berries to be honest. If It's probably maybe way in the background. I would not call this a red berry type smell. That caramel brulee or was it creme brulee? Something like that it is caramel plus creme brulee. Yeah, I'm like not really getting any of that. So like maybe there's a little bit of sweetness, but this is not, and it's so funny. The If I scroll up and then see like the type of scent, people say this is a sweet scent. And I'm like, this is a woodsy scent. And that's not even like one of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not even one of the top seven scent descriptions that they have. It's like they call, people call this a sweet caramel and fruity scent. And I'm like, this isn't fantasy by Britney Spears, you guys. This is Victoria. This is like, I honestly feel like I'm living in like a twilight zone. Cause I'm like, I have no idea what those, what that category of scent thing is. Like, 
Oh my gosh, and Lactonic is one in one here. So it's sweet, caramel, fruity, rose, fresh. Okay, I get the rose. Um, rose, fresh, lactonic, and sour. Maybe it is a little sour from the citrus, which they don't list as a type of scent. So it's like a little sour, a little rosy, a little woodsy. And there is some sweetness into it, but it's sweet tinned woods plus that grapefruit scent. Um, it is so good. I wish all of you guys could smell this. If you can like find this bottle, you know how I feel. I don't think people should really buy perfumes that have been discontinued because it's like, you don't know how people store them. And also you're gonna have to pay a ton of money. And if at that point you have a ton of money to spend, then I think you should donate it to like an animal sanctuary where there's like pigs and donkeys and goats that are like, we had a bad life and now we're rescued by these people. And it's, I don't know. I only know of like one in my area that's like, amazing and I don't really know if, if people really know about them or if they're even really around but like I don't know just find a charity <laughs> and give that money to the charity that will like the initial endorphin rush of buying a new perfume might be like crazy high but it'll kind of go away whereas the good feeling you'll get from helping someone else that'll really help you it'll change your character it'll do all this awesome stuff so that's how I feel. I'm gonna get off my little high horse, off my little, um, off my pedestal. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing like this shirt that's like a towel. This is literally like a towel material. And I got it like, like a lot of years ago from H&M. And I feel like it's a little stretched out now, but um, it's just crazy. I'm like, I'm wearing towel material. So weird, but I like it. Oh my gosh, this scent, you guys, is so good. It is so good for evening wear. I wouldn't, this is not a scent that's like going into the office. Let's put on some Victoria. Like to me, at least in my opinion, if someone wore this, if I was in the office in the morning and someone sprayed this on, I'd be like, oh, I love that smell. I just don't think the timing is like, like, I don't know. I would want more of a fresh smell. This is more of like an evening smell. This is like date night. This is dinner. This is like, going to a club, which people don't do anymore. Um, I don't know. This is like night on the town kind of smell. This is late October, early November. That's when I smell this in my head. This is like, you would want to wear this at like sunset to evening. It is just so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is so good. So... Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna save that for the next video. There's something I'm gonna say in the beginning of my next video. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys comment below. I love to hear you guys have your feedback and it's just super awesome. Uh, you know, like and subscribe, I guess, you know, but like Besides all of that stuff, like that's important, I guess, whatever I should say as a content creator who only has like 110 subscribers, but I shouldn't downplay that. That's great. I'm starting out still. Um, like, you know, that's besides the, the stuff that really matters in life. And like, I am going through, like, as you guys know, I, I've made this channel kind of because of a lot of stuff I was going through personally in my life. And this year is still not over and there's still stuff I'm kind of going through. And I could really, really, if, if you're out there and you pray to God, you know, just, I would love it if you just could like, you don't have to tell me you're doing it, just on your own time, just be like, hey, can I help that random guy from Make It Make Sense? God, he needs some help. I just, I don't know what he needs. He doesn't feel comfortable enough to fully share all his private details online. But like, I'm throwing some prayer requests out his way because... Yeah, like I'm human and I'm in a transitional period of life still. And, you know, during these times, it's like you need all hands on deck. So, yeah. And if you have a prayer request you want me to pray for, let me know and I got your back. So that's my review plus other stuff I just talked about of Victoria, which I know I get a little sidetracked and I don't always, I don't want to say I get sidetracked. There's, there's more to my reviews than just the perfume. You know, I'm a person. I talk about a lot of stuff. And I think that's why a lot of you guys actually subscribe because I'm not just like notes of this, like longevity, this many hours. And you know, people who do that, that's great. Those are great content creators too. I'm just a little different, you know? They're awesome, I'm awesome. We're all awesome together in different ways. So uh, yeah, 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It is such, such a perfect scent. Like they did such a great job and I just love smelling these like scents that you can't really find anymore. Um, yeah. So tomorrow will be, I think, Viva La Juicy. I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be an awesome one. I actually just saw, uh, you know, I'm going to save it for tomorrow's video too. There's a lot of stuff I'm saving for tomorrow's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.